Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another exciting yet thrilling video. On today's agenda, we have <clears throat> the Hatchbox PLA that we will be reviewing today. Uh, the reason I am doing this review is because a lot of people lately have been asking me uh, what are some of the filaments that I use and how do I like it if I tried other brands things like that <clears throat> and uh, Some of them I tell them to be honest. I've only been doing this for about two months uh, Two months ago. I didn't know too much about filament. I didn't know which ones to use I didn't know uh, the amount of filament that's out there nowadays. It's just crazy So how do you pick how do you know it's the right one for you? Um I tell people, well, 3D printing, first thing you should know is not cheap. The cheapest part of it is the machine itself that you buy. After that, the filaments add up, the ABS uh, adds up, the extra parts, and if you have an open source printer, all those things add up. So how do you find a reasonable filament that's not going to break your bank? Well, this is what I came up with. So... Uh, before I get started, just to let you know, guys, uh, in no way, shape, or form am I being sponsored or was these filaments given to me or anything like that. Just like most of you out there, I paid for this out of my own pocket. I picked it up off Amazon. Uh, they were having a sale for, I believe it was like $18.99 or something like that or $18.40 something. Uh, normally, they go for roughly around $21.00. Uh, to $25 for uh, this particular type of Hatchbox PLA. Uh, you can get different varieties, colors, uh, whatever you want. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, so <clears throat> I ran into Hatchbox based on a recommendation from my Facebook 3D printing group. And um, I've been using before that cheap filaments and I was having all sorts of problems, which actually... I wouldn't take back because that's made me a better 3D printer <clears throat> person because I know these problems, I can I know how to fix them, I know what issues it is and things like that. Um, the thing with cheap filaments is they tend to absorb moisture and crack over time if you leave them out and don't seal them away. Um, also, they aren't the size that they say, like for example, this Hatchbox PLA is at 1.75 diameter. Um, on the cheaper ones, it says 1.75 or 3, uh, three. and guess what? Sometimes they're smaller, they're bigger, they don't feed right through your extruder, uh, resulting in a clicking noise, which eventually uh, is not good for your extruder. What, what it does is it tries to push the filament through, and if it's too big, it has trouble. If it's too thin, it has trouble. Uh, and you're just wearing out the gears on your uh, machine because of that. So... What you want to do is eventually find something that works that is pretty good. <clears throat> I've noticed with PLA when they say 1.75, they're either dead on or very, very close. So there is no issues with that. And that's one of the things that I do like about them. Okay. So like I said, it was recommended to me by somebody from my face group. Um, one good thing about PLA uh, from Hatchbox is every single one has his own color coat right up here uh, so in this box I haven't even opened it I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find black filament uh, on this one here I'm gonna find white and before they stepped up their marketing game guys this is actually a new box that they had because the old filaments came in boxes like this and they decided Let's do away with that. Okay, so they went and upgraded and spent some money and uh, made the box really nice and shiny. And who doesn't like shiny? Look at the light just bounce right off this sucker right there. So, <laughs> anyways, um, one cool thing about uh, this particular filament, if you notice, everything will be right out here. It'll tell you all the details, and it's also inside on the filament as well, which we're gonna go over in a little bit. Um, so let's get this cracked open and see what we got. Okay, so when you first open the box, you get this really nice Hatchbox uh, catalog. Basically what it is, it's a list of most of their spools that are out there. 
if you have the Amazon app, you can basically just scan the barcode and it'll take you right on the website. And then of course they have some coupons in there, uh, depends on how much you spend and what percentage you get off. And also uh, they have some, I think, spool holders and things like that here somewhere. Uh, just accessories, you know, just like most marketing um, you would expect from a marketing company to do. So that is that. <clears throat> All right, one cool thing I like about these new ones is, uh, which the old ones also had, is the vacuum seal bags that they do. I know the other ones, uh, the other uh, PLAs that I bought, uh, they had these, but they'll have a rip here or or holes or things like that. And they also put this thing in there. I forgot what the hell it's called, but it keeps it fresh. Uh, <clears throat> now, why is that important? Because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but PLA absor absorbs moisture and eventually gets very brittle and starts cracking. So when you have it sealed, it's actually a good thing because what that does is it prevents it uh, from giving you failed prints eventually down the line. Another cool thing, like I said, I've only been doing it for two months, but people have told me they have had these opened and left out in the open for about six to eight months and they still haven't noticed any kind of, uh, of uh, cracking or, or brittleness or things like that on it. So, which I thought was pretty cool because the ones I had after uh, leaving it out for I think like a month and I didn't even use it, I, I could like just bend it and it would break. So, uh, one thing I would recommend guys is once you do take this out, go ahead and just put it in a Ziploc bag just to store it away, okay, if you're not going to be using it for a while. Um, so, the overall appearance of the new marketing strategy they got is pretty cool. Uh, they have their website written right on the side of the box and on the back of the box you will find where it says Hatchbox PLA and then it has their story um, so basically their story is from professional engineers to designers and hobbyists alike no I'm just kidding I'm not gonna read you their damn story uh, if you want you can buy the box and read it yourself alright moving along so uh, some of the stuff that's on here is very important guys one of the main questions I get or I don't get it all the time but I see it on the forums is hey what what temperature should I uh, put my PLA at or people have like uh, uh, warping or, or the layers not sticking together and they're like oh what's causing this it's the temperature it's the um, <clears throat> the size and all of that so pay very close attention okay it tells you the diameter which is cool uh, the tolerance I noticed on the old one one of the old filaments that I got it was actually a point uh, zero 0.03 on the new ones they're actually 0 0.05 which is kind of cool and of course I get the 1 kg spool I don't want those big huge bulky ones because then my printer has problems uh, feeding it through the recommended temperature the most important part right there 180 to 210 don't max it out at 210 and don't minimize it at 180 I usually go about 200 and that works pretty well for me okay uh, if you want, guys, you can go on uh, some of the uh, social sites out there like Facebook and Twitter if you want to contact them or look for more stuff. And then, of course, this is made in China. Just like most of the cheap filaments out there that are made in China, this one is also made over there. Uh, but for some reason, I like this one. This one's pretty good. There's no issues with it. Uh, the overall quality on the prints and everything is great. I like it very much. Now, one thing I did calculate, and this is my calculations, I could be wrong. This one spool uh, roughly goes for about 75 to 80 hours of printing, I believe. Um, you could maybe get a little bit more out of it, I don't know, uh, maybe a little bit less depending on what you're printing and how what's your um, nasal flow, uh, flow size, or not, not nasal, nozzle flows flow uh what you have it set at is it at 100 is it at 80 is it at 120 uh you know things like that so um overall i would say this is a very good pla i haven't had any issues with it since i bought it it's giving me some great prints um i can do multiple things with this one to be honest i mean this is great it's smooth it sticks very well together gives me a great first layer every time uh and of course i know these are some of the settings that's on your uh, slicing program as well and, and i get it but i have tried uh, other plas and 
uh, even with the same settings, they weren't too well. When I first went with Hatchbox, I actually printed side by side, um, or two separate prints, I should say, uh, of the same exact settings with two different PLAs, and this one just overall rocked it. I mean, it, it was amazing. I'm very, very impressed with it. So, um, next thing I will do is just tell you overall, I highly recommend this. This is my opinion only. Uh, I've been using this and for the price and the quality that this sucker puts out, I mean, it, you can't go wrong with it. I think it's a great PLA, uh, great filament. It works awesome. Um, I've actually made a or printed a mod uh, for the spools on this because the diameter of the hole here is always the same on all different spools made by Hatchbox, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's basically it on this one. Now uh, I will show you some of the print qualities that I've gotten off of it, and I am very impressed. I don't know if you can see very well detail-wise. Uh, on this one, this was my very first one. I think it's got one little line right there. Uh, besides that, I think it was pretty good. So I can't complain. I just got to go ahead and print it out. I did get a little, um, this one was printed at 210, I believe, which I shouldn't have done. So I did get a little bit of stringing on here, but it's nothing major. Uh, and just like you guys saw in my last video, I've also printed this. Uh, this is uh, the Ghost from Destiny, which, you know, as you guys know, is the game that I play. Uh, but this one was pretty cool. I did like it. Uh, I think the quality of the print was amazing. Uh, the only issue I had is... I went with just, uh, I should have went thicker on the outer layer. That's why you can see some of the honeycomb um, infill on it, uh, like right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is there. But yeah, overall, guys, good prints. I mean, this is another print that I, that I got out of it. I don't think there's uh, any kind of an issue with it. And these were actually, or this stand right here was actually printed at 70 speed, believe it or not, uh, with 10% infill. And it came out pretty good. So uh, overall, guys, my recommendation and uh, on the Hatchbox PLA, it is amazing. Uh, for the price and the quality that it prints out, uh, it's not the top of the line, but it's definitely not at the bottom of the barrel either. So I would definitely go with this uh, if you're looking for something. Uh, buy one spool, try it out, and if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, then hey, there's like a billion other ones out there that you can pick from. Um, with that said, if you guys have any more comments or questions or concerns or if you think I could have done something better, whatever it might be, or more information... Uh, if you guys would like to see videos on ABS uh, from the same manufacturer or um, just any videos that you would like to see, let me know. Put it down in the comment below and uh, I will see what I can do. Uh, with that said, if you guys have any general questions regarding printing, guys, just hit me up. Just send me a message. I'm on uh, Facebook and uh, it's facebook.com san3dprinting.com. So I'll take you to my page. You can just uh, go ahead and send me a message if you like. Um, so again, overall, great product. I love it. Um, and like always, guys, good luck and happy printing. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel.